Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm an ophthalmologist at Austin Eye in Austin, Texas. I'm going to demonstrate my latest technique for lens X laser cataract surgery. We're using the version 2.16 software. Here you can see I'm making a four quadrant chop, a 4.5 millimeter capsulotomy. There is no arcuate incision. A key element in my latest technique is how deep I break up the lens. I reduce my depth of my lens chop to about 50% of the lens thickness. We make our standard three plane corneal incision and then begin the capsulotomy. Again, my capsulotomy is 4.5 millimeters in diameter. I use that for all of my lenses except the crystal lens. The fact that I'm making my lens chop not as deep also saves on the total lens X laser time consumed. With the current software, my typical treatment is about 44 seconds in duration. In order to conserve time, I've edited the video, taking now the patient directly to the operating room where we open up our primary and secondary incisions. I use a cyclodialysis spatula to open the secondary incision. My current viscoelastic of choice for opening the capsulotomy and emulsifying the nucleus is Helon Endocoat. I found it, it works very much like Alcon's Viscoat, viscoelastic. I then use a cyclodialysis spatula to identify the primary incision and then I use the Hu Femto forceps to expand my primary incision which is currently 2.8 millimeters in diameter. I use an Epsilon chopper to separate my capsulotomy and I confirm that there if there are any adhesions or tags that we gently separate them. There seems to be a tag right there, so it's been removed. Once we know we've got the capsulotomy separated, I do my standard hydrodissection as I would do with basic cataract surgery. An important difference to my prior technique is I do not have a pneumo dissection bubble that's between the lens nucleus and the posterior capsule. So uh, as the chance of having any type of pressurized capsule is reduced, I can just hydrodissect normally. Again, this lens has essentially been pre-chopped by the Lens X laser at about 50% thickness. We find that we do not need to go very deep to get a, a great cleavage plane. So this lens separates very easily even though we did not go deep. In addition to the four quadrants that are made, I do carve out two cylinders with the lens X laser prior to taking the patient to the operating room. This lens, as it has been hydrodissected, it rotates very easily and we easily break it into four nicely cleaved pieces with thus far minimal fake emulsification energy being used. We then increase our suction and do the remaining part of the cataract surgery uh, in, t in a typical fashion where we lollipop each quadrant and then bring it up and emulsify the segments. Okay. 
I find that this technique of not having to worry about a pressurized bag with gas bubbles created by most of uh, by uh, lasering the nucleus um, makes the surgery much quicker. It saves time. It probably has reduced my surgical time in the op operating room by three to five minutes per case compared to when I was using the FACO first technique. We then do our usual irrigation and aspiration. The one part of the video that I did edit out after it followed this sequence uh, was use of the Aura intraoperative aberrometer, which adds about 90 seconds to the procedure time. There is a small plaque of cataract adherent to the posterior capsule and it is removed easily with the silicone tip. We take a little bit of extra time to remove some of the excess endocote from the corneal endothelium to reduce the likelihood of a post-operative intraocular pressure elevation. We have refilled the bag with OcuCode at this time and then we use the Singer sweeper to sweep the posterior surface of the anterior capsule. It's very good at removing sub incisional uh, cortical material. I use this on most of my laser cataract surgery cases and on many of my basic surgery cases. It is also made by Epsilon Instrument Company. For this case we chose a Technus multifocal lens implant which has already been loaded. We stabilize the globe with some smooth tying forceps. And the technus multifocal is gently inserted into the eye.
like all three-piece lenses, it's nice that the Technus multifocal lens can be dialed within the capsular bag to free up any viscoelastic that may be trapped in the capsular bag and to free up any residual lens material which may be trapped within the bag or behind the implant. So the optic is secured behind the anterior capsule leaflets. These corneal incisions seal virtually every time without the need for any suture material. And we confirm that when the patient is asked to look at the microscope light that the light reflection is within the, in the central circle of the lens implant. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Hope you enjoyed this video.